we have uh, a high degree of confidence, based on our assessments, that the Syrian regime has maintained full control of its chemical weapons stockpiles throughout this conflict. Uh, it is our uh, conviction that uh, the Syrian regime has the rocket capability that was employed uh, to devastating effect in this chemical weapons attack. It is abundantly obvious to those who have covered this conflict, who have, were covering it last week, uh, to the international organizations present on the ground, uh, that the Syrian regime was engaged in an effort to clear these particular regions of opposition forces uh, with violent force prior to the use of chemical weapons. And in the immediate aftermath of the use of chemical weapons, uh, prevented the UN inspections team from going in to establish that weapons had been used as they continued to bombard the neighborhood. Uh, and they continued to do that yesterday after the UN inspection team finally, after being attacked, was able to make it to uh, one area that they needed to visit. After they left, they continued to bombard the area, which is a clear effort to uh, try to dispose of evidence. As I noted earlier, uh, the op options that are being considered uh, are not do not contain within them a regime change focus. And that is not what we are contemplating here. We are, we are examining options to respond to this violation. 